In this video, I've got a real quick tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to add a favicon, also known as a site icon. You know, it's that little image that appears in your browser tab and also shows up in the Google search results amongst other places. As I said, it's really easy. So uh, let's get on with it. So I'm over at this site, which is the travel demo for popcorntheme.com. And you can see up in the tab up here, that we haven't got a, a nice favicon or site icon set, just the default Chrome globe. So let's set it right now. Now, I have designed one in Canva. It's based on this logo. I'd recommend that you don't use your logo as a favicon or a site icon because you need something square. And generally logos aren't square and sometimes they have text and text will be too small to uh, read. So I, I recommend that you specifically design something for your favicon. I use Canva, as I said, I've got this design here. Um, let's call it Favicon. And it is just a bit of the logo, basically. It's the sun and the sea. The size is 512 by 512 pixels. That's the best size. That's the size that WordPress likes. It, it seems quite big because it's only going to be a tiny image, but I think it could be used elsewhere, could be used on mobiles, and it's going to be nice and high res if you go for 512 by 512. So yeah, design something in Canva or whatever you like. I've saved it with a transparent background. I don't want a white square appearing. I want it like this Canva favicon here with no background. So I used a PNG file with no, or with a transparent background, I should say. Okay, let's set it right now. It's really easy. Now, depending on the theme you're running, the options may be slightly different. But if you're using a new theme like Popcorn, an up-to-date theme that runs with the site editor, the built-in WordPress block, editor, then this is exactly how you do it. If your theme's a little bit older, you may find the setting within the customize section, which is in appearance within the dashboard. But yeah, if you're running popcorn theme or some other new theme and you've got the site editor, come up and click edit site. Then I'm gonna click on the logo here. I clicked on it three times so that I've selected it. So you can see over here on the list view, we've got it selected. Then down here on the right hand side, here's the option to use as a, uh, the logo as a site icon, which I don't recommend, as I just said. What you want is this link here, site icon settings. And then down here we can select the site icon. I'm gonna upload the file. Here it is. Actually already got a couple in there. Never mind. Uh, select it. And then it's already changed. We can see that up in the tab. Let's click publish. Let's go back to the home page just to make sure. There we go. Looks beautiful, even if I do say so myself. That brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you got your favicon all sorted out and it's looking sweet up there in your browser tab. Let me know how you got on in the comments. I love to hear from you all and I'll read all the comments that I get and try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Be sure to head over to wpeagle.com if you haven't done so already. There's loads of free stuff over there that I'm sure you're gonna enjoy and find useful. But until next time, good luck with your sites. See you later.